างงแล้วจีมีซิงยิ้วเหรอฮัลโหลสบาสเตียนอ่า my new charge I'm told you're in dire need of supplies and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them is this your first foray into the village it is I haven't left the castle since I arrived it's been a day well, mate I shall endeavour to be the very best of guides then Hogsmeade's a charming little place self-contained too We should be able to find you everything that you need, shall we? Let's go. My trip to Hogsmeade with this Sebastian. Let's just say it was eventful, mate. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see I'm it, very I'm very blotted. Nice to keep an eye on you. You'll soon realize. I'd make a marvelous case. Islands were beautiful here. Eh? Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. I spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well rounded. Beautiful. I remember the scenery was always green and colourful. Lovely, kind of peaceful. Until I started with myself in it. Let's get a job on, mate. And go all day. Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. This is why I liked our Sebastian. So, how did you manage Mischief. to get to the librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand. I'm inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. No, I didn't know that. So I'll have some of that. <laughs> Bring me on concoctions, my own potions, and that. I go about that. Beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look, what's going on? See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. You know, I wanted one of them the moment I laid eyes on it. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already named them too. Prance hoof and sugarfoot. To the left is the Forbidden sure. Forest. Out of bounds to all students. Oh, hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I'll be in there. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. That's right, ah, Sebastian. You can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead. Who's this guy jogging with us? You better stop, mate. Before you get Levio sold into that lake. Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? A little. It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see. And places about to discover. Five years. Oh? Any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. 
I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. Oh, Sebastian. You'll learn. Better I show you than tell you, mate. Thought it was Natty again, man. I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. You've seen quite a bit yourself first hand too. Most notably that dragon attack. Moonstone. Hopefully Lovely. the rest of your year isn't as eventful. Shady on my eye that was. That's what I felt like me and Sebastian were running for ages, mate. Mr. Moon! He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure! Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me! Eyes oh, big as saucer! This guy, mate. What did Mr. Moon get his head together? Demi guys! Ugly and airy and. Terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. You little chicken fight. Demi guys. I don't know what he's putting in so his a chicken fight, mate. But he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Oh, Moon, so. That's right. Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. That's all right then, isn't it? Let's talk about your sister. She's going to be all right. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place... I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like monsters Sorry, love. of flame. This guy's doing the running, man. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get. A wand and some other bits. Yes. Dittany seeds, some spell crafts and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with the new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. I'll do what you're doing, mate. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. Get my wand. Merlin, blue that. Oi, lad, I want my wand. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Uh, mm. Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. No, Diamond I'm Barry Blore. ...in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Hmm. Uh, no, 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 not you. Um. Ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm. How 
hard. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. They'd make a spectacle. Well, this shot. isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. It did resemble my wand a bit. Oh, 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 my, oh goodness. Oh, looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. It's not what it looked like. Curious indeed. Powerful. A dragon heartstring wand is most powerful and learns quickly. What do you think? Beautiful this wand of a lucky, crooked, pale, Extraordinary. full of power. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. You've done your job, mate. I don't remember coming back to see you. Once I got my wonders out of there. <laughs> Off to the next place. Watching my field guide. Oh, yes. to go. Potions. I had to go get some. Menus of some sort. What was it again? No, let's go away first. An inquiring mind. I'm not inquiring about nothing.
Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson, then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? If you're interested, feel I'm not free to take a look around at the rest of my infantry. No, nope, I'm going, bruv. I'm shopping. Another man, I go in, get what I need, and get out. Let's see what's next. It's a lovely cat, but I ain't got time for this. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. What's in here? Ooh, nice cough. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I all. should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can, so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, I get the let's get mind. you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Just give me what I need, mate. I'll be on my way. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. I won't, not yet. Or come back another I'm time broke. if you're in a rush today. <laughs> There's no galleons, did I? Right, where do I go now? Oh yeah, we'll pay it, mate, to the wheat. I seen it, so I grabbed it. Well, hello there. Oh, here we go, another talker. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. 
Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. All right, I keep Kiki. the cards out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things. I don't want to chat with you, mate. Inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is portion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. I didn't ask, well, mate. What say <laughs> we get you a packet of Dipney seeds? Yeah, hurry up. Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Lad, you just... We've just, we've just spoke about this, mate. That's why I don't understand about these people in Hogsmeade. You spoke to them, and then they ask you questions like that. Like you did just have a conversation, mate. I'm Barry Plotter, and I changed all that when I became the greatest wizard ever. Do have a look around. No, I won't, mate. See you later. Your interest, I'd wager. No, see you That's later, everything. mate. everything. Better go and find Sebastian. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. These guys didn't know who they was messing with. Let's have him, Sebastian. Shouldn't have told him he did anything there, lad. No, he's not. He's hitting me, man. Oh, look. 
Oh, he got me again, bro. Like Sebastian, let me also ain't doing nothing, man. You've seen it enough times. Right, I'm buried floor. Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, no, perhaps the two of makings you wouldn't of mind Barry helping Plaw. put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Well, after a hard day's work, they want me to tidy up. Hello there. A, a moment if you would. I'll go and see what he wants. Yeah, because okay. I am. like it was all me, wasn't my stupid troll goblin troglodyte or whatever it was. Only I did fresh as anything, but that's where my day stops. It's a bit crazy, but that's Barry Plot for you. And next time you watch this through and through, yeah, because Barry Plot becomes the greatest wizard ever.